So chapter 7.2 is converting <clears throat> your y equals mx plus b form into general form. And general form looks like this. You have ax, so some number x plus some number y plus some number equals zero. The way to convert it is, first of all, you can't have any fractions. So if you have a fraction, you have to get rid of the fraction. Oops. One second here. And the way to do that, to get rid of your fraction, is to multiply everything through by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. So that I'm getting rid of the, the denominator. The way that happens is it cancels out with the top number. And then everything else I have to multiply. So y times 3 is 3y. I'm just left with the minus 2 or negative 2x plus 12. My second step is to bring everything to one side. So the easiest way to do that in this case would be to get rid of the 3y. So I would subtract 3y, subtract 3y on both sides. So that on the left side I'm actually left with 0 equals, remember that my x term goes first, my y term goes second, and my number on its own goes last. It doesn't matter if the 0 is on the left side or the right side, but if you're checking answers in the back of the book, just be aware that I could have, at this stage, where I have 3y equals negative 2x plus, plus 12, I could have gotten rid of all this stuff. I could have added the 2x to get rid of it and subtracted the 12. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to add 2x and subtract off my 12. And if I'm writing that, I get 2x plus 3y, because it's a positive 3y, minus 12. This time on the right side, I'm left with a 0. So notice that my, my uh, signs in front of my values is negative 2x, negative 3y, positive 12. And on this side, I have a positive 2x, positive 3y, and negative 12. These are both exactly the same equation. It just happens that one is on one side and the other one is on the other side. But because they stem from the exact same question up here, they both come from y equals negative 2 thirds. So they both have a, a slope of negative 2 thirds. And they both have a y-intercept of 4. If I was to, again, solve both of these equations in y equals mx plus b form, we would get back to the original equation up here, which is the same slope, same y-intercept. So just be aware of that. Next, sketching the graph using the x and y intercepts. So here I have an equation in general form. And the reason that it's kind of a nice thing to have in general form is because you can graph using what's called the x and y intercepts. So the x intercept is actually, let me just pick a color here, is actually when, pick a different color, purple, when the x value you're trying to find. So we're trying to figure out where does it cross on the x-axis. But where it crosses on the x-axis, my y value is 0, right? So what happens? Well, what, what happens is I go up here, I get, I put a y, I put 0 into y, so that gets rid of it, because 2 times 0 is 0. I'm left with 3x minus 18 equals 0. I would solve, I would move the 18 over, so I get 3x equals 18. Then I would divide by 3, so I get x is equal to 6. So my x-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My y-intercept is where my graph crosses the y-axis, and where it crosses the y-axis is where my x-value is, right, 0 again. So at this time my x-value is 0 because I'm not going anywhere left or right. And this time, I go back up to my equation and I plug a 0 into x, which is going to get rid of my x term. I'm left with 2y minus 18 equals 0. So 2y equals, I bring the 18 over, I get 2y equals 18, which means that my y value is equal to 9, dividing by 2. So that means that my y-intercept is up at 9. So if this was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, my y 
intercept would be right there. And the good thing about having your x and y intercepts is that it's easy to graph. You just connect your two points. So I take my ruler, connect my two points, and I draw a line between them, and you're left with your graph. So instead of finding your y-intercept going up and over and up and over with the slope, you can graph using the intercepts.